Don't you know how to connect case fans to PSU? You can easily do it on your own, no matter how many fans you're connecting with. So let us dive into the methods. The number of case fans needed for your PSU depends on the motherboard of your PC. You can easily do it on your own, no matter how many fans you're connecting with. The first step is to figure out where you want to install the fan. While placing a case fan, always put the face part inside, as this part will suck out the heated air of the unit. So, identify the fan's front and rear. The rear part is covered with the casing and the front part is open. Each case fans have four screw holes on the four edges of the casing. Place the fan to your selected spot and use a manual screwdriver to join the screws. Now, cable connection time. After connecting the case fan, you will find many wires hanging around the internal component of your power supply unit. A casing fan has one to two separate cables. One of them possesses four pins and the other has three. The cable with three pins is called an addressable RGB. The motherboard contains fan plug connector hubs. Follow the rails on your addressable RGB cable pin and plug it in with the nearest hub of your power supply unit. When you aim at connecting multiple case fans, one vital component that you are going to need is a fan hub with a Molex cable splitter. A fan hub mainly contains more than one case fan's connecting ports. In that case, the fan cable connection goes from motherboard to fan hub, fan hub to PSU, and finally, connection with the red port of the hub. However, if your motherboard does not have the 8-pin connector option while your fan needs one, use a 4-pin to 8-pin connector cable adapter, which will solve half your issue. Also have a visit to the Tech Fixer page to read hundreds of tech fixing guide. And don't forget to like, subscribe and tap on the bell icon to get updates of new fixing with some other techs.